Hey guys, Technomit here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to unlock your AT&T iPhone so that you can use the phone on any carrier and be unlocked from it being specifically for AT&T. This method will work pretty much for most other carriers as well, but AT&T is really straightforward. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to the channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for a discounted price or looking to upgrade for a device at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So to unlock an AT&T phone, it's really straightforward. There's a couple things you'll need to do before you can actually do that. The phone, of course, has to be paid off. Like with any other carrier, they will not unlock a phone unless it's fully paid off. And the next thing is your account has to have a a good standing with them. What I mean by good is that you made all of your payments and are still making payments if you have an active account. To check if your phone is uh, eligible to be unlocked, you can simply type in AT&T unlock phone and if you do that, this will also work for Samsung phone as well. It doesn't have to be an iPhone. You can actually look at here about unlock eligibility. So if you click on their website, they're going to explain things that you'll need. Like, for example, here, as you can see, the phone has to be an AT&T phone. So it can be from another carrier. It has to be from AT&T. It can be prepaid. doesn't matter. And it doesn't have to be on an active um, line currently, but it has to be paid off. That's probably the most important thing that you want. And the phone can be lost or reported stolen or with any sort of fraud or anything like that and if, you, if you have prepaid you have to be active for at least six months or so and then there's also a couple other things around if you have a business phone what you'll need so here you can read through this on their website but to show you guys how simple it is to unlock it is really straightforward you're going to go into settings here once you're in your settings you're going to want to go to general and then about and then you're going to want to go ahead and copy that IMEI number which is right here we're going to copy that over and we copy the IMEI number because we'll need it for that so when we Google AT&T unlock phone you'll notice the first hit that you get on Google is unlock a phone or device and like you said it takes you to Apple site so this site here if you google AT&T.com slash device unlock will take you to this page and you can here check either the status or go ahead and process unlock and to do that it's pretty straightforward and click on unlock phone and you don't have to be an AT&T wireless customer to do that you can select no or yes if you have one that's good if you don't that's fine if you select no here for example it will ask you for the IMEI number if you have AT&T number it's going to ask you for that number so either method will work and then you're going to take that IMEI number that you copied you're going to want to paste that in so as you can see it didn't paste in sometimes what you'll have to do is maybe take it open up notes here the copy and pasting isn't working or you can type it in so we're going to go ahead and open up notes here sometimes this happens because there's spaces here we're going to take we're going to go ahead and edit those spaces out It's going to be a 15 digit number it's also written on the sim card tray if you guys need another way to look at it copy that over and this time we're going to paste that in again one more time and as you can see the number shows up and it should show you the model of your phone and then you're going to click you're not a robot select whatever they want here so you can see they want us to select that okay so that was wrong traffic light let's see if we can get this one okay so this is really good, but okay, so it's um, finally able to verify that, and then you're going to check bar this, yes, you have read the stuff, and then you're going to hit next, and once you hit next here, what you're going to get next is information, so you want to fill out your name and things like that, and an email address, you'll need to put an email address because they'll send you an email to confirm, once you, once you do that, it'll send an email here, so we're going to go ahead and do all of that and then show you guys what the email is going to look like you're going to put your name um, if you you don't even have to put the phone number you can skip that part if you don't have a phone number but the things you'll need is your first name last name email address and confirm and then after that you're going to hit that submit button so we're going to go ahead and do this for our device right now
So once you have done all of that, this button will turn. Um, you're going to be able to submit it. And once you submit it, as you can see here, it's still loading for us. And it'll send an email and a confirmation number. So the next thing you are going to want to do is, and to show you guys, this phone is actually locked right now. You can set your carrier lock, as you can see, SIM unlocked. That's how you tell a phone is unlocked. And if you have iOS 14 or later in the settings, you can see that. Uh, so as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and grab our other our device and show you guys what that email you're going to get on the email that you put in. So once you put that email in, you're going to get something like this. So you're going to get an email basically saying, hey, this um, is the IMEA number and request. And you're going to hit that confirm button. So once you hit that confirm button, it will pretty much get to that confirmation here like this. As you see here on this device, that means it's good to go. And then you're going to wait for another email. Another email will come in to either confirm that the unlock was successful or it wasn't. And that's where it's going to matter. And we're going to check this to make sure that it is unlocked here. And sometimes the, this should be pretty quick. The confirmation comes in right away. And then sometimes it takes a few minutes, maybe sometimes an hour or two, depending on how long. They usually say it could take up to 24 hours uh, to 48 hours, depending on that. And if you guys have an account with at and you can always call their customer service up, like with any other carrier, is that you can pick up the phone, give them a ring, and say, hey, you know, I want to unlock this phone. Because once you unlock the phone, you can pretty much take it to any carrier. You won't be locked to using it for at and only. That's really a good way to have your phone be utilized for other devices. So as you can see, we're still waiting for the other email here on this device here. So the other email hasn't come yet. So that's what we're looking to wait here because once that email comes, okay. So as you can see here, just to show you guys, this is the email you'll get here. As you can see, we approved your unlock request and our phone here is unlocked and we will verify that on this device. And they usually say, go ahead and put in a different SIM card in so on the iphone 12 here you can put it on the left side to pop the sim card you currently have and put the new one in it should start working same with any other device that you have and we're going to go ahead and take a look at here on this device and as you can see it says no sim restriction right now on ios 14 or later this will be there if you have older ios you won't see this so make sure your phone is updated to ios 14 and above and the phone is now unlocked and ready to go with another carrier. Hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions or have experience unlocking a phone with other carriers, leave a comment in the comment section so that anyone looking to unlock their phone can be can benefit from it and any tips and tricks that you guys have as well for other carriers. But this method will work similarly for other carriers. Some carriers don't have that portal that we just seen like AT&T does. So you're going to have to call the customer service and get them to unlock it. So see you guys next time.